Yeah, the mayor is calling it the one Seattle graffiti plan, and it would rely on more than $940,000 of the mayor's proposed budget. Now, Mayor Bruce Harrell says he wants to make that investment because since 2019, incidents of graffiti reported by the public have grown 50 percent. The city says there were nearly 20,000 reports of graffiti and tagging last year alone. The mayor's plan includes increasing the number of city staff that respond to graffiti, offering abatement services at low or no cost to property owners, providing a thousand abatement kits and training to businesses, also implementing larger penalties for the most prolific taggers and engaging with artists, businesses and volunteers to find more spaces for public art. Perhaps there's some cultural art in certain areas where they're trying to keep their culture and preserve it and we could beautify that area. That's the work we're gonna do in addition to abatement and enforcement. So we have a great opportunity here in this approach. It's a one Seattle approach and we'll get to know the graffiti community probably unlike any other administrations have known them before. And here in Soto, the business improvement area says the neighbors and businesses have really been impacted like this one by the surge in graffiti in the last few years. They say they welcome the chance to work with the mayor on what they call a needed investment. Live in Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.